Hello! Two videos in one day here, it's almost as if we're Game Leap, bringing you another Dota 2 video on behalf of DotaAlchemy.com slash Patreon, in which we're going to be taking a look at the 7.26c patch that was just released in Dota. Items! Royal Jelly now has a global cast range, which makes sense. It was annoying that it wasn't global. Uh, you right, know. you had to like send it back to Stash after you used one. Yeah. And... Yeah. Moonshark just... was made to be global as well. Right. So it makes sense that essentially another consumption item. I feel like they should all be like that. So those make sense. Salves, clarities. Yes, of course. <laughs> of course. Those ones as well. Uh, Illusionist Cape. The illusion now dies. Okay, actually, I missed one. Uh, the Royal Jelly buff is now duplicated on illusions, which means if you get it on PL, you're not revealing which one is the main hero. That honestly shouldn't have been how it was in the first place. Probably yeah. just unintended, so they fixed that. Uh, Illusionist Cape now dies when the item is unequipped. 100% uptime Illusion. Uh, this was a great backpack item, and obviously when they added one slot for neutral items, they don't want people using multiple, at least in that way. That felt a little bit too broken. Right, yeah. This one in particular just had such good utility because of that, so definitely uh, unneeded. It's not even really like a nerf per se. It's just like this is how it's intended to be. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Both both of these, honestly. Uh, heroes. Yep. So presumably we have a lot of talent changes because the 80% talent rework thing that they did was a little weird. Uh, left a lot of really strange numbers. So this looks like they're probably going to be fixing that. Uh, so Alchemist, level 10 talent reduced from 20 attack speed to 15. Uh, the level 10 talent on the other side is now negative 6 seconds concoction cooldown instead of negative 5.5 seconds. So kind of buffing to the style that people aren't really playing on Alchemist these days, the, like, stunning style as opposed to this, like, right-click style Alchemist, which makes sense, because how how long have we seen this right-click Alchemist? It, it's been, like, a year now, uh, if not a little bit more than that, so. Right. Yeah, and especially with the, the gold changes, he's coming back into the meta yet again, and it's kind of like, like all right, let's, let's try and do something a little bit different with this hero. Yep. Um, most of the the changes from what I've seen, I like scrolled briefly through it, are just kind of like this, trying to rebalance the talents for the most part to make both sides viable at least a little bit. Yeah, and as we can see here, like more of the same thing. Uh, 25 da damage, 20, uh, but 325 health to 350, so making the one that people don't really go for better. And then 325, concoction damage to 350, that's another one people don't really go for. So this, mm. this makes a lot of sense. And then on Anti-Mage, we have, instead of negative 40 second Mana Void cooldown at level 25, it's negative uh, 45 seconds. I feel like the 80% nerf hit a lot of heroes harder than others, ones that had just, you know numeric talents in the 25s got hit really mm -hmm. hard compared to the ones that had like non-numeric talents like death prophet exorcism grants haste still does exactly that whereas something like right. this anti-mage the point of having this mana void cooldown is that it's basically constantly up so when you reduce that uh to 80 percent of what it was it it kind of sucked so this is you know makes makes a lot of sense yeah it, it's kind of interesting to look at some of these and just see like what the balance team thinks is like a talent that makes a hero good in a certain way. Cause a lot of these are just kind of like retweaking the numbers back up to where they were before the nerf. Yeah. And, and, and that's definitely one of them. Yep. Uh, ax strength gain has been reduced, which is surprising because I'm not seeing ax a lot in my pubs. I'm not seeing in competitive either the games that I'm casting. So I'm not entirely sure about this. I mean, I think he's pretty decent, but I don't think he's like some S tier uh, in fact, I think his win rate is like 44% in pro-level pub, so it's it's not looking that great. So it's it's weird to see this. I did the same thing with Luna a few weeks back. Uh, talents, level yeah. 10 talent, 6 to 8. Uh, strength, so they buffed up the strength a little bit. Uh, the attack speed, they changed it to move speed. Maybe that's why they reduced the strength, because that's a pretty nice talent for level 10. Uh, 15 talent is now attack speed. That seems garbage. Uh, level 15 talent, instead of 2.5 meta regen, it's plus 2. Wow, those talents suck. Uh, 25 Berserkers <laughs> call AoE to 100. So once again, putting it back to exactly what it was. Right. <clears throat> yeah, that one probably just like wasn't big enough. Yeah. You would think that 20 is, is probably not that, that big of a difference, but for whatever reason, they're like 100 AoE is what this is supposed well, to be. On on Radius, it 
it, it True. it's definitely a big difference because the it increases the um the whole circle the whole yeah. area by such a large amount you know it's like when you get a, a medium sized pizza and then you compare it to like a large size pizza it's two dollars more but you're actually getting basically two mediums worth of pizza depending right. on depending on where you get pizza I mean, if you're getting shitty pizza huh, then maybe that's not true but, uh, <laughs> anyway bane talents level 10 talent 75 cast range has been changed to 15 percent magic resistance and then the 15 talent is plus 125 cast range so now once bane is leveled up he's actually going to get more cast range uh, and then level 15 talent the six percent spell amp has been increased to seven percent i don't know who in god's name would go for that on on right. bane uh level such 20 talent it's such a huge meme uh three seconds negative on nightmare cooldown at level 20 that's pretty cool that seems yeah that seems a lot better that does the uh the, the cast range is i mean i guess they just want you to be like a little bit more just like fighty tanky at level 10 because sure. like you know this this hero is essentially all about the cast range you're, you're setting up for people you're saving people you're gripping people yeah and it just matters like where you're standing for the most part yeah definitely that's that's like once you're level 10 that's kind of how it is so now that's more so at level 15 uh, Batrider. I'm, I'm scrolling down here. There's like apparently a lot of changes. Batrider, 15 yep. talent, uh, plus two five seconds flame break duration to two seconds. So nerfed. Thanks, monkeys forever. Level 25 talent uh, is negative eight seconds on the flame break cooldown. So that's the talent that nobody's really going for. So basically we're reverting that to what it was. Um, I'm actually, I'm not sure if that got changed from what it was before with the 80% nerf, but anyway, whatever, nobody really went for that talent. So this makes a little bit of sense. Okay. Finally, we get some actual non-talent nerf. So Beastmaster, they just straight up nerfed his base damage by four. This is like the best offlaner right now, uh, barring yep. Mars here. I'm going to control F this and just see if there's Mars on here. Okay. He is on here. We'll, uh, yep. we'll go back up to base. Yeah. They, they changed like probably 60% of the hero pool. So I know one hero they didn't change cause I already control F for it. And it's not Mars. Oh, God fudge. damn it. <laughs> uh, talents. Level 15 talent is now negative 14 seconds hawk cooldown. That's pretty cool. I like that one. Uh, and then 20 talent is yeah. plus 30 boar damage instead of wild axes. I like that too. I mean, people didn't really go for the wild axes damage anymore. It's like a health talent on the, on, on the other side. Uh, 25 second or 25 talent is now more wild axes damage. Okay, so I, I actually like this. I mean, 16 mm -hmm. seconds on hawk cooldown. At 25, that's now 14 seconds on a hot cooldown at 15. That's a crazy change if you really think about that. It's 10 levels between those two points and only right. two seconds difference. Yeah, I mean, the, the hot cooldown talent seems really good. Like, yes, yeah, six armor is nice, but having a free ward like every 16 extra seconds is, or 14 extra seconds yeah, is super, super, super nuts. valuable, especially yeah. during like that, that period of the game. Agreed. That's that's mid game. Lots of uh, controlling areas, scouting needs to be done. Uh, Brewmaster talents uh, level twenty five talent was changed to be negative sixty five seconds. Primal split cooldown doesn't matter that much. You don't really get to that point in the game too often. Broodmother level ten talent from two hundred health to ten agility, which is kind of cool. It's the spider damage on the other side. And I, I do like that one. That is on the nuke damage. Uh, fifteen talent is now thirty attack speed instead of fifteen agility. So about the same there. Uh, level 20 talent from 40 attack speed to 400 health. So kind of just shifting things around a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting. Ch Not changing like the like the power peaks almost of the hero. Like, Well, nobody went those talents anyway is the thing. Like these are all the talents right. nobody went because people built build around the spiders. So this to right. me changes nothing about Broodmother with how she's but i mean played. just in general like a lot of these a lot of these talent changes seem to be they're like well maybe this hero should be based around level 15 instead of level 10 or this one should be based around 20 instead of level 15 or something yeah. like that so it does seem like that centaur okay so uh level 10 talent has been changed to 5 hp regen which is really cool uh the centaur talents at level 10 sucked it so bad nobody goes <laughs> for them you always skip them so five health regen on this hero that is a thumbs up for me dog uh level 20 talent 16 strength change to negative 20 seconds on stampede that's cool i love when heroes get actual spell changes to their talents that is so much right. more interesting than oh you do a lot of damage now because of a talent cool or you regen or whatever so this is really cool this always makes heroes either very broken or it doesn't matter at all and people go for the other one so we'll see <laughs> right. we'll see with that uh and then level 25 the hoop stomp duration was actually nerfed from 1.2 to one seconds and i think that talent was really good uh either either way you know it's like one second it's already a really good stun i, I feel like it's hard to pass that up even though it's been reduced yeah okay. definitely let's see chaos knight uh level 10 talent plus four all stats two plus five a little bit of a buff 
15 move speed to 20. I mean, this hero sucks, so pe- they, they really yeah. definitely need to buff it. I'm a huge proponent of this hero. I, I love it. I totally agree with you. I know you love your support CK. I love my carry, my offlane CK, but every time I try it, it feels like dog shit. So yeah. he needs more than this. <laughs> I really think he needs more than this. Yeah, they, they basically just like reverted his talents to what they were before the nerf, essentially, because yeah. I think it was five stats before. Is that Kuzco? No, it's uh, this is Tika. Can you hear her panting or something? Yeah, I can. She's being a good boy. <laughs> uh, Clinks, searing <laughs> arrow changes uh, from thirty damage at level one to twenty-five. So nerf, nerf by five at all levels. Eight strength to nine, six agility to seven. So the level ten talents uh, buffed a little bit. Fifteen talent, thirty seconds burn, uh, burning armor cooldown instead of negative twenty-four. So they just reverted a lot of Clinks's talents. So cool. I mean. I still think this hero is going to be broken. Just the fact that he steals per- or that he gets permanent damage with that pack—that's insane. It's uh, yeah, he's he's been kind of plaguing high level pubs from what I've seen. Crit is like almost 11k MMR spamming this hero right now. It's a good one. It's a good one, definitely. Uh, Crystal Maiden, level 15 talent re- uh, change. So instead of negative 1.5 seconds Crystal Nova cooldown, it's negative two seconds. That seems pretty minimal. That hero seems yeah. a little questionable. Darkseer, level 10 talent from 100 uh, Iron Shell Radius to 60 Vacuum AoE. Oh, I like that one. I do like mm-hmm. that one. And then the 15 talent is 60 Vacuum AoE to 100 Iron Shell Radius. So just swap, swapping them to give them a little yeah. bit earlier sort of power peak, I guess, with the, the bigger vacuum. I mean, I, 10 yeah. evasion. Why would you ever take the 10 evasion? It doesn't feel that great <laughs> on Darkseer. Uh, level 20 talent has been reduced from... Uh, 65 iron shell damage to 60. Okay, cool. Seems uh, pretty minimal. Dark Willow, uh, talents, level 10 talent from 25 damage to 10 int. I would say that's probably a nerf. Uh, level 20 talent is instead of spell life steal, it's plus 50 damage. That's oh, wow. really nice. That's really nice because that's about the point you're going to you're gonna start working towards that eggs. Uh, level yep. 25 talent change from 1.2 second terrorize duration to 1.3 seconds, slight buff. Uh, and then attack speed from 140 to 110 at level 25. So kind of uh, making up for the fact that uh, you have this plus 50 damage now. And I'm going to turn off the Dota sounds in my background because they are destroying my ears and probably the ears of our, of our viewers. Uh, okay, Disruptor. Sorry, do you want to say something about Dark Willow? I just kind of moved on. No, nah, I'm just wondering whether it's like essentially the same DPS, like take away 30 attack speed but add 50 damage. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I, 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 w- I would imagine just just based on like, I guess like good game design, you'd think that probably that is the case because uh, then the 50 damage gives you more stuff to do outside of just the Aghanim Scepter. You know what I mean? Like right. having 50 damage, it's like you if you hit somebody once in a fight or whatever, without the eggs, you're going to do a little bit more damage. That way, it's not just like a direct buff. It's like a buff to the parts where Willow's not strong, which makes a lot of sense, I think. Um, yeah, it's probably a little bit more, but it's probably anyway, more, that's yeah. just a random thought. Uh, Disruptor, level 10 talent change to 20% magic resist. That's really not bad. But 175 health, that's also pretty damn good. Uh, yeah. Raw HP, can't go wrong as a level 10 talent with raw HP on a position 5. I'm, I'm a pretty big fan. I mean, now you just go a couple of bracers, right, for the stats or something like that. Yeah. Some, some stat item, and then you get the nice EHP from sure. the magic resistance. 20% is quite a bit, actually. Yeah, that's so. a lot. That's a good amount. Uh, Doom, talents, level 15 talent change from 16% evasion, which sucked. To plus three seconds doom duration. Wow, that's, that's pretty serious. That's pretty serious. Uh, and doom gets level fifteen. I mean, that's that's no that's no joke. Uh, level twenty five talent from one hundred forty percent cleave to one hundred fifty percent cleave. Why? Good Get god! <laughs> Why do they want people to go for this bullshit? It's I know so it's so silly. weird. It's so silly. Carry doom. Maybe gonna... you're supposed to get. Maybe Ice Frog was like playing on Tester or something like that, and he got like the the Alpha Wolf or something like that, and built attack speed and was like crit cleaving people like he was Sven. And he's like, "This would be sick." This is we'll so figure cool, this out. dude. <laughs> God damn, Ice Frog. Uh, Dragon Knight talents level ten talent from plus two point five mana regen to plus two, so slight nerf. Uh, level fifteen talent health has been increased, so a little bit of a buff. Seems like a side grade to me. Uh, Draw Ranger, level 10 talent from plus 4 stats to plus 5. Level 10 talent from, wow, 15 move speed to 40% gust blind at level 10. That's serious. That's pretty cool. That's a good level 10 talent. Holy shit. Yeah. The 5 stats is, like, so minimal. Dude. I mean, 
everybody takes it, but the forty percent blind is really That's strong. That's crazy, man. She's got a. She's basically got evasion at level ten now. That's really yeah. cool. Uh, level fifteen talent, of course, was changed to twenty move speed instead of the gust blind. So uh, okay, whatever. That that seems like a shitty talent, but. The, the 10 talent, that's sick. Uh, Elder Titan, yeah. level 10 talent change from 150 health to 8 strength. So now he has the same amount of HP effectively, a little bit more, uh, but he right clicks harder, which is cool. And has HP regen, whatever the hell all strength gives you. Uh, level 25 talent has been changed to uh, plus 450 stomp wake damage. All right, level yeah, 25 talent. Versus the 60 Earth Shaker. Or versus the 60 second Earth, Earth Splitter, Splitter cooldown. Cool yeah, I don't know. Minimal. Yeah. Um, Ember Spirit. 20 damage to 15 at level 10. Pretty big nerf. Uh, people would like to go for this when they go for like the Sleight of Fist build, which a lot of the time you do. Uh, level 20 talent is plus 65 Sleight of Fist hero damage. So you get that back once you get to level 20. Uh, level 20 mm -hmm. talent change from 13 seconds charge restore time to 12 seconds. Nerf to the Aghanim Scepter, basically. Everybody goes for this on, on this hero. Even support Ember Spirits go for the Ags eventually. It's just, yep. it's too good. So this is a bit of a nerf to that. Enigma, uh, point, 0 0.25 Malefice stun duration at 15. That's cool because that makes it so there's a, a much smaller window for you to get away from this stun, press your blinks. Like, there might be certain heroes now that literally can't get a mobility ability off. And yeah, I'd that's almost I'd, like I'd, battery I'd to, assault. It kind of owns them. Yeah, exactly. I'd have to test that, but I feel like Queen of Pain and Anti-Mage might not be able to blink out of Malefice now. So we'll have to yeah. see on that, but if that's true, Enigma's going to be good. Like, that's, that's, that's solid. It, it is a talent, but that's still really solid. Faceless Void. Level 20 uh, talent, 35 attack speed to 40, so putting it back to what it was. Minor. Uh, Grim Stroke, 25 move speed to 20. Bit of a nerf to that hero. That's, like, one of the best position fives right now. Gyrocopter, level 10 talent. Reduced 12 damage instead of 15. Oof. Uh, level two, uh, 200 health to that 175. Zero. <laughs> yeah, they really, really don't want people to pick Gyrocopter anymore. I mean, it, it's, it's just the best fighting carry. That's the problem. Level 15 talent is now negative 40 second call down, cool down. Say that 10 times fast. Uh, level 20 talent is now 12 rocket barrage damage instead of the call down, cool down. Uh, I mm. liked the 15 talent before. I did really like that rocket barrage damage. And at level mm. 20, you're not really playing around the rocket barrage. So, right. I was just going to say, it kind of it really shifts because at 15, a lot of people don't have BKBs or magic resistance yet. Yeah. But at 20, they definitely will. So pretty pretty serious nerfs, I would say, to the hero. Definitely, definitely. Rest in pepperoni, soft lane gyro players. Uh, Huskar, <laughs> level 20 talent, is now 40% Ber Berserker's blood regen instead of 16 strength. That is very interesting. So re remember, this scales with, with his strength. So mm. um, And yeah. Halberd. Yeah, so you get Halberd, you get Heart. You know, this hero is going to regen a lot, but it is a level 20 talent. I do know he, I mean, he obviously has the uh, pure damage spears talent, and I know there were a subset of Huskar players that were playing around the late game Huskar, which is interesting because you wouldn't think of this hero as being a late game hero. But with this plus the pure damage on spears, maybe, maybe it's a legit late game hero now, which could make it broken. We'll see. Invoker, level 10 talent, is now... Oh, wow, plus 15 Meteor. Man, dude, Invoker's level 10 talents are garbage. So garbage. It's like uh, the Ghost Walk, Walk cooldown is pretty good. I don't know. I feel like it lasts forever. It's it's good for... I mean, it is good for Quaswex. Like, the fact that it does make Quaswex, like, way more viable. You can run around a lot more with the... Maybe I'm uh, underrating that one, but this one felt garbage, so it's yeah. it's good that they changed this. Um, IO talents, level 20 talent, has been changed from 12 armor to negative 25 seconds relocate cooldown. Well, that's really cool. And the level 25 talent is 700 health. Honestly, at level 25, I feel like you can't not go for the right-click talent. It's, yeah, it just, like, gives... It's, like, basically giving you double damage. It gives you... A, yeah, you, you just pick up, like, a Satanic and yeah. attach to, like, a Gyro or somebody, and it's just game over. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Chikiro, level 10 talent. My god, 275 attack range instead of 250. What the hell are they trying to do to this hero? <laughs> uh, level 15 talent is now 25 dual breath damage instead of... 30 because everybody was going for that okay cool uh juggernaut Seems good fixed helm of dominator not affecting your hero during omni slash i didn't know that was a bug but i do know people are going for helm of dom on a lot of carries so this is interesting uh, omni slash now waits for 0.15 seconds before ending if it uh when it doesn't find any valid target rather than instantly ending holy that's shit that's a pretty you, huge deal you might not be able to disjoint omni slash anymore that's fucking crazy if that's true like Jug yeah. might have just become the best carry if if you can't disjoint the Omni Slash anymore. That's insane. That yeah, is it's really gonna, crazy good. 
definitely make him much better against heroes like PL who try to doppel out of it and stuff like that. I mean, Manta so. style, like, uh, yeah. you can, like, you could even force out of it sometimes. You can yep. walk around a corner and Jug can stop omni you. That is crazy yeah. cool. Okay, 15 uh, talent was changed. AD Blade Fury move speed buff to Miracle build. Uh, level 25 <laughs> talent was reverted to one seconds on the Omni slash duration. I mean, it felt like once like one second already wasn't that much for a 25 talent. I mean, you would go for it. It's good. Don't get me wrong. But it does feel kind of bullshit to click a talent that's less than a second on one of your abilities at level 25. That yeah, doesn't totally. feel that fun. I don't know. Totally. Also, I mean... I, I suppose you kind of have to go the 80 movement speed at this point. Like they're just giving you so much. Like I think this start out at like 40 or 50 when they first yeah. introduced the talent and now it's 80. And keep in mind, Yasha gives percentage move speed now, right? So yeah. everybody yeah. builds that Yasha on Jug, even if it's just casual. Keeper of the Light, base damage has been reduced by two. A little bit of a nerf to that hero. Who cares? 60% win rate hero, probably still broken. Kunka, level 20 talent from 16 strength to 18, bit of a buff. 25 talent is now 85% Tideburner Cleave, so once again, reverting the talents, basically. Legion Commander yep. reverted this talent as well. Level 10, 6 strength is now plus 7. Uh, level 15 talent is negative 4 seconds on overwhelming odds cooldown. Wow, interesting. that's interesting. I like that one because Legion, no, nobody was going for that talent. Uh, I'm not entirely yeah, sure what the cooldown is on it, but that could reduce it to be something pretty significant. It was kind of weird because it's like plus 65 overwhelming odds hero damage. It's so situational when that actually comes into play, right? Like you, you yeah, need several people to stack up next to each other for that to actually matter. Yeah. Definitely. Um, but, this but yeah, it'll be, it'll be 11. Wait, it's minus four now. Minus yeah. Four. So it'll be, it'll be 11 seconds and then you get the, uh, you get the speed for seven. So you're going to be hasted for most of the, most of the game. For yeah. Most that's, of the team fights. that's really cool. That's really good. Uh, Lashrak, Lightning Storm damage. Wow, straight buff to Lashrak. Just 10 damage at all levels on Lightning Storm, which back when this had good damage, it was an effective early game spell. People were going two points even maxing this and using it to set up the stun, using it to farm. So, like, yep. this hero's been buffed so many patches in a row. Lashrak is going to be... I'm calling it. Lashrak is going to be the hero soon. Like, this is insane. Uh, and then the 20 talent also been buffed. 350 HP instead of 325. Level uh, 25 talent... Edict Explosions got nerfed. This one keeps getting nerfed, but I love all the other changes they've done to Lashrak. I'm really feeling this hero right now. Dude, I mean, they, they just want you to go for the uh, the, the Aghanims on it, the Lightning Storm random random casts during yeah. Pulse Nova. It's cool. I like it. I do like it. With the 25 talent where it slows for like two extra seconds, yep. it can be really ridiculous. Lena, uh, 300 health instead of 275. I mean, she desperately needs it. Lion, yep. the 15 talent is instead of 15 uh, 50 mana drain, it's 15% mana drain slow. I don't know. Cool. Dude. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you're still going to go the finger of death damage 100% of the time. Uh, yeah, like... I don't know. Uh, Lone Druid, uh, 25 talent is now 1,000 true form health instead of 800. And then True-vert. the Spirit Bear attack time was reduced to 0.15. Man, Ice Rock really doesn't like that talent i don't know all right i mean it was broken before realistically so it, it this does make sense it's the other stuff about low and Druid that's not so good luna level 10 talent is now 350 cast range again cool awesome Yay. magic damage luna build <laughs> uh and then hey the 15 talent has been reduced too so basically ice frog was like no no no, the magic damage luna build is cool that one's yeah. cool you guys keep doing that one yeah oh, thank god i mean this is not enough Lycan base move speed has been reduced from 315 to 305. I mean, it's a big deal. 10 move speed is, is no joke. This means going for the no boots build is a lot less viable now. So Yeah, it just makes his quality of life a lot worse when he's rushing Necro and, and that kind and of Dom stuff. And shit. So. Yeah, agreed, yep. agreed. Uh, Magnus shockwave cooldown has been reduced by one second at all levels, which is cool. This is how he farms. This is how he harasses in the laning stage. Uh, talents uh, level 20 is now 425 skewer cast range, which, by the way, is a fucking hilarious talent. When people get that, you're just skewering into base. It's yeah, so, so far. It's so much better than the 8 armor, too, because 8 armor at 20 is just like, eh. Yeah, I mean. yeah. Uh, Spear of Mars on Mars. We have now has a plus 10 mana cost per level at each level. So this, That's going to hurt. It does hurt. He has, like, he has a very big problem with mana. Uh, and then Bulwark, you can no longer do the trick where you the butt spear the butt spear yeah you cannot do the butt spear that is interesting uh okay yeah level... I, I tested it it makes you actually do the turn animation so right which makes sense yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, talents. Level 10 talent change from 6 strength to 15 damage. That's cool. I, I'm a, I, I like that. I like some a little bit of extra damage. Uh, level 10 talent, 15 move speed to 2 seconds off of Spear of Mars. I like that too. That sounds pretty damn good. Uh, any spell spell talents at level 10 I'm a huge fan of. Even if they suck in terms of the, the seconds. Because you know this is going to get buffed in next yeah. patch if nobody goes for this. Yeah, exactly. I mean, 12 second cooldown on Spear of Mars. I mean... It's just a great spell in general. Exactly. So. It's, it's, it, that's a cooldown reduction on Hook or on Mirana Arrow or something. Like everybody always takes those. Right, but but with the mana cost increase, like you're gonna have to be really careful about that's running true. out of mana on this hero. Guardian Greaves or some shit. Uh, level yeah. 15 talent has been changed to 20 move speed instead of 20 damage. So they're putting a lot of move speed talents to be later on. I guess they mm -hmm. think early extra move speed is like too broken. Okay. I would agree. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, speaking of cooldown reduction talents, uh, Marana now has 3.5 seconds reduction on the arrow instead of 4 seconds. Everybody went for that talent. And then at level 25, the Moonlight Shadow cooldown has been put to 60 seconds instead of 55, which is very yep. annoying to deal with, especially in pubs where people do not buy sentries. Yeah. Monkey King, level 25 talent, is now Wukong's armor uh, plus 100 instead of plus 80. And this makes sense because that was a a talent nobody was going for before i mean still people are not going to go for it like the ring size is just insane it's just so good like monkey king's 25 is one of the best in the game easily it's like top three. yeah i mean even if you're like a support monkey king you're probably going to have enough damage where you still want to go the extra ring who's going to walk you know, into like, that thing man how do you walk into it i will say i have gone the hundred armor one time in a game, and I was legitimately unkillable. It was like against Terrorblade or that something. Is like that is true. I just, I just sat true. there and just like didn't die because I had like ninety eight percent physical resistance right. or something like. That. I gotta say, nobody ever goes for it, but it is definitely an underrated talent because it does yeah. make you feel immortal. Yeah. Uh, Naga Siren level ten talent is now twenty move speed instead of fifteen. Level ten talent is now nine percent mirror image damage instead of eight uh, percent. Thirteen strength instead of eleven at fifteen, and negative nine seconds cooldown on ensnare at level. 20 instead of negative 7. So reverting a lot of her talents, which is surprising because I think she's pretty damn good. Um, I know, seriously. These are all little buffs to a hero that seems reasonably strong at the moment. Nature's Prophet. I'm so glad to read this. I'm so glad. Level 10 talent, 20 move speed to 15 Wrath of Nature base damage. This is so cool because nice. I am so sick of... It, you have to go the damage. Why would you ever go 20 move speed on a hero that <laughs> can teleport hero. across yeah. <laughs> the map? It doesn't make any fucking sense. So they needed to change this town a long time ago. I still think the damage is really good. Like the raw damage, that's fantastic. Right. But this is cool. This at least gives you a choice, uh, especially if you're going for like the frontline tank nature's profit build. But I know a lot of people do go for like mech into like Mjolnir or something like that. And then if you're going to go that build, damage is great. Uh, and then right. 15 talent, free Trent summon to four. And that's, once again, a talent nobody really goes for, other than me when I'm playing position five natures and trying to make people abandon. <laughs> Perfect. Necrophos strength gain has been reduced to 2.6 from 2.8. Intelligence gain has been reduced from 2.9 to 2.7. So two off of both of those gains. Agi gain remains the same. Bit of a nerf. That hero was seeing the light of day recently, so that's pretty good. Uh, Night Stalker, 25 talent, is negative 60 second Dark Ascension cooldown again. Cool. I, I'm a fan of that talent. I think that's an uh, underrated good talent. Uh, Ogre Magi, 20 talent reduced from 50 Bloodlust attack speed to 40. That's the one everybody goes for, even on a yep. core Ogre. So that's that's cool. Uh, that's been buffed so many times. Slight nerf to him. So slight, though. Omni Knight, level... Okay, good. I'm happy to see this, because Omni's 10 talents suck dick. Let's see what they are now. <laughs> 80 Purification AoE, which was garbage, to 20 move speed. Okay, you go for that one. Uh, level 10 yep. talent. I don't even need to read this. Heavenly Grace, HP regen. Give me a fucking Who burn. Cares? 10, yeah. 10 <laughs> instead of 8. I don't care. You go with the move speed. Uh, level 15 yep. talent. Change from 25 move speed to negative 2 seconds Purification cooldown. I could fuck with that one. That's all right. Uh, although the Purification cooldown got nerfed so many patches ago by like 4 seconds. So this still is not quite back to what it was at. So we'll, we'll see. Keep buffing that valve, and then I'll right. be again. The other side is 70 damage, and it's like, eh, it's kind of hard to pass up 70 damage. Yeah, yeah. No matter is. what position you're playing. Yep. Uh, Oracle, talents, level 10 talent change from plus 8 seconds fortune and max duration to plus 0 0.4 seconds fortune's end duration. Affects the minimum and max values, does not increase the channel duration. Oh, you know, you know, hero is wow. complicated when they have to like 
explain how the skill works. Well, in no, the talent change. But this before was uh, the masturation. So you had to sit there right. like, just right. sitting there channeling. It was fucking stupid. But this is cool because you can just like send it like that and it's automatically going to be at least 0.4 seconds. This is a yeah. big, big buff to him. This is a big buff to Oracle. Uh, and then level 20 talent is negative 20 seconds false promise cooldown. Wow. Wow. Dude, that's like a 20. That makes it like a 20 second cooldown, I believe. Um, I think it's 40 nice seconds. Buffs. Big Very buffs. Nice buffs. Very nice buffs to the hero. Big buffs. Yeah. Late game Oracle is going to be kind of insane. You have to kill him in fights now. Yep. Uh, OD, Essence Flux Slow has been increased. As if this goddamn hero needs to come back into the meta. Why do they want this hero to come back? He was just in the meta for like two years. No idea. <laughs> no idea. That's very good. I mean, as if OD needs... Oh, this hero, he needs to disable. Really good. Really great. Dude, yeah. From 11 to 20 at level one, this is easily... You just go. You can just go like one point in this and it still has a huge amount of value. Yep. Yep. Sanity is Eclipse. Base damage from 150. Okay, so it's uh, plus 50 at max level now. Uh, which yep. is which is cool. They have nerfed this ability a lot. And then the 15 talent is six armor instead of five. The 15 the other 15 talent is 250 mana instead of 275. So that one was nerfed. 20 talent is now plus 0.1 on the multiplier instead of like it was zero to be. eight. Right, like it was <laughs> supposed to be. I mean that's a stupid change anyway. So just reverting that one. Pangalier swashbuckle cast range has been reduced. Uh, swashbuckle slash range has been increased. So less of an escape but does hit people that are farther away. Uh, Interesting. So probably I think Pango players would say that's a slight nerf. Uh, talents, yeah. it's, like a, it's like a defensive nerf, aggressive buff. Uh, right. Talents, uh, the 2.5 mana regen talent was changed to 2. The uh, 325 swashbuckle slash range was increased to 350. Dude, you're going to slash real far, actually, if you go for this talent. Like, this might, yeah. This might be a thing, legitimately. That's like... A full Queen of Pain blink. So, like, essentially the entire screen is now a swashbuckle slash if you take the talent. That's not bad. That's not bad. There's something there. Uh, PA yeah. 15 talent has been changed back to 25% cleave instead of 20%. The 24% blur duration has, or evasion has been changed to plus 30%. Oh, my God. I hate that talent. Uh, it, like, playing against oh, it. Oh. And then... Look at, wow. Oh, wow. 8% coup de gras chance to uh, 100% coup de gras damage. Well, you are you are battling up against the three rapier, or the three uh, daggers thing, and, but if you do get a rapier, and you get a, you Dude, get extra, you get that crit, like you are one hitting somebody. 550% crit? Ugh. Yeah, that's... A lot. <laughs> like, when you say it, it just doesn't sit well with me, actually. <laughs> when you say that, like, What? Right, oh two passes God. from now, it's going to be like a thousand percent additional yeah. kudos. Just has, just has like a small chance to instantly kill anybody <laughs> and delete yeah. Dota from your computer. <laughs> Phantom Lancer, 20 talent has been increased from four max juxtaposed illusions to five. Okay, slight buff. Uh, for some reason, Phoenix base int has been reduced from 18 to 16, makes spamming his spells a little bit harder in the early game. And uh, yep. the 15 talent has been reduced to, okay, 28 to 25 fire spirits DPS. So basically nothing. And uh, Puck, yep. 20 talent, 40% illusory orb distance and speed to 50%. Cool. Nobody Yay. goes for that talent, so <laughs> nice. Uh, Razor, the uh, 15 talent is 12 strength instead of 10. 20 talent is back to 0.1 per, uh, storm interval instead of 0 0.08. <laughs> uh, that was just reverting the old patch. 25 talent right. from 160 to 180. I the storm damage. Cool. Nobody really goes for that one anyway. Uh, Ricky, 15 talent from 25 damage to 20. This hero definitely needs the nerf. But that yep. damage was put on the backstab multiplier. So instead of 0 0.4, it's 0 0.5 at level 20. And that 25 is changed from cloak and dagger doesn't reveal to 125 smoke screen AoE. Wow, that's hilarious. Uh, that yeah, I mean, everybody went for the tricks of the trade cooldown anyway, I, yeah. I assume. And then the, the backstab multiplier, at least you have a slight more of a choice, right? Because I know that some people were going the the multiplier, but yeah, it was the cast like, range on Blink Strike is still insane. It's it's so nuts, yeah. Like, do you really want raw? As if you need more raw damage in games of right. I feel like there's a lot of damage sources these days. But blink that Blink Strike range, man, with the with the fact that there's charges on it is nuts. Uh, yep. Rubik level 15 talent has been uh, changed, so it's back at 80 Fade Bolt attack hero damage. I'm not sure if it was that before, but in any case, a bit of a buff to that. Seems pretty good, honestly. That's definitely an underrated talent. That that's like a lot, quite a lot of damage in fights to reduce yeah. people's 
uh, attack damage by. Sand King, level 10 talent, is now 30 epicenter attack slow. Oh, fuck, I hate that talent. Instead of 15 move speed. And the 150 health is now 175. I'm a fan of that. Uh, 15 talent yeah. is now plus 2 epicenter pulses instead of 40 epicenter attack slow, which is cool. Uh, I like that. 20 talent has been changed from free epicenter pulses to plus 25 epicenter damage per pulse. <sighs> you see, you skip. You it's skipped. so minimal. Yeah, it, it's minimal. And at that point in the game, like if you need your Sand King to do raw damage like that, what the fuck is your carry doing? Right. <laughs> Shadow Demon talents level 10 talent has been changed from Soul Catcher creates illusion on death to plus 12 int. Wow, that seems like a nerf. That's weird. Okay. Am I crazy? Um, uh yeah that uh that does seem like a nerf i mean maybe it's just too good to have it there i guess so but not putting it anywhere else i mean the hero's not seeing that much play so. yeah shadow shaman base armor increased by one so it makes him even better yes. at trading in the lanes uh level 10 talent is 175 hp instead of 150 level uh, 10 talent is now 100 shackles total damage i do like that one i do like that i mean i you don't really need this hero to do damage, but you're shackling people anyway, right? So, I don't know. That feels kind of cool. Um, yeah. The spell amp was so random. Like, I was starting to experiment with taking it just because it allowed you to, like, kill range creeps instantly. But the shackles damage, like, I feel like... For, like, five like, minutes. Yeah. I feel like the shackles damage is actually going to give you a little bit more, like, maybe solo pickoff potential early on. Just because 100 extra damage is, is pretty valuable at, yeah. like, you know, 10 minutes into the game. Yeah, I do like that. Um, although I don't know if you're going to be level 10 at 10 minutes into the game. Mid like Shaman. Shadow Shaman, bro. <laughs> okay, <Hollywood> sure. Priest. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Uh, level 25 talent has been changed to 30 attack wards damage instead of 32. Wow, huge change there. Silencer, <laughs> 15 talent is now 20 arcane curse damage instead of the slow. I don't think that's that great. I mean, it's, fi it's level 15 talent. That's right, level 15. That's yeah. really pushing it. Uh, and then the level 20 with the lowercase l. Uh, talent change from arcane curse damage to now that's the slow so minimal so minimal and skywrath instead of spell lifesteal level 10 it's 10 int so just hey buddy you get more damage cool yeah, way better yeah slark uh the level 10 talent is now six agility instead of five uh nine strength instead of eight and the 25 talent has been reverted to one second on shadow dance duration so slight buffs to him yeah, nobody wanted any of these like 0. 0.8, 0. 0.4. Nobody <laughs> wants. Like... Yeah, it's just so boring. It's so boring. Right. Sniper shrapnel slow has been reduced in the early levels because of the support sniper, and yep. the assassinate scepter stun duration has been reduced as well. So really nerfing the support sniper shockingly. Dude, and it's the... been all over my pubs recently. I probably played against it maybe eight times in the last two days. Can I just say? Can I just say that everybody? When I posted that video, like, I don't know if it was a year ago or whatever, everybody thought I was a fucking maniac, okay? <laughs> yes. And now everybody thinks it's so serious, and yep. you were all wrong. Everybody that said that it was bad. Uh, anyway, everybody that reported me. <laughs> uh, level 10 talent has been, the cooldown reduction has been reduced again to 15% big nerfs to support sniper i can't believe i'm saying that uh level 15 <laughs> talent the shrapnel sl slow has been produced as well wow yep. support sniper really See nerfed <laughs> yeah that's out of here uh specter level 10 talent five all stats instead of four bad talents anyway i don't like that one i like the bad HP hero period bad hero uh spirit breaker the base movement speed has been increased which is cool because he gets percentage from his charge and his other thing actually he doesn't get percentage from his charge anymore but he does from his other thing and um so that's cool. B buffs to him. Sven, Stormbolt cooldown has been reduced by one second at all levels. Uh, level 15 talent, he gets 15% lifesteal. That seems pretty cool. Meh. Uh, it's something to, eh. you know, it's something. It's something. Uh, level 20 talent is 25 move speed instead of 20% lifesteal. No, nah, this eh. is not good for for the hero because it used to work out really nicely where you get S and Y and the movement speed talent at like the same time. And then you could go for the Stormhammer cooldown to have like yeah, really you definitely fast don't go eggs. The you definitely don't can't go the move speed because it's Stormhammer cooldown, and that the eggs is what everybody's going for. So yep. Um, I mean, you could argue though that because that was the well, anyway, whatever. Sven kind of sucks. Uh, he's one of the most garbage heroes in the game. Level ten talent, six strength to plus seven. So okay, cool. Uh, TA instead of. 12% evasion, it's 15 move speed. I think she likes that. The evasion is garbage. Definitely. And then the attack speed has redu been reduced to 15 instead of 20. And then at 15, it's 15% evasion. Okay, cool. So a little bit more. At that point, maybe I guess you care more about evasion. Uh, level 25 talent has been changed to plus four refraction instances because let's be real, everybody takes the bash. 
so maybe and you're still now, going to you're, you're probably still, still going. going to yeah yeah exactly uh terra blade the 20 cooldown has or sorry the 20 talent has been changed from eight seconds reflection cooldown to eight conjure image duration i think they mean eight seconds conjure image yeah. duration uh, that's interesting that's i mean reflection cooldown at that point was pretty damn good man i gotta say yeah like, it was it's like what 100 percent damage illusion on somebody is that 100 percent? anyway it's, uh, it's really good yeah. and it was like permanent with this so that's that's pretty big nerf to him i would say and uh, but we'll see maybe the conjure image duration is sick uh, level 25 talent the sunder cooldown was changed to negative 32 seconds same as anti-mage just they wanted these things to basically have 100 percent uptime and they're putting it back to that yep Trim Protector, 10 damage, or 10 uh, talent, the 40 damage is now 60. I don't know why you would go for this over the move speed. I guess if they ch keep changing it to be higher and higher, people will. 100 damage. Or, or Echo Saber Treant, let's go. <laughs> sure, yeah, that's totally sick. Uh, level 20 talent has been changed from 30 Leech C damage in heal to plus 40. Meh. Uh, level 25 talent has been changed from 80 DPS to overgrowth to plus 100. Instead of the, I think the other one is aoe on the eyes from the agonims something like that and i think that's a really good one so just changing the the uh talents that nobody really went for underlord strength gain has been reduced everybody's been complaining about this hero for so long you know so I, yeah so i kind of get it i kind of get it just for the sake of pubs and then the move speed at level 10 it has been reduced from 25 to 20 and the cast range has been increased at 15 from 150 to 175 once again, the talents people didn't really go for. So, yep. Cool beans. Undying. Level 25 talent that nobody goes for because the reincarnation is cool. Uh, 1.5 seconds decay cooldown to negative 2 seconds decay cooldown. Seems minimal. Ursa, yep. one of the best carries right now. Strength gain has been reduced from 2.8 to 2.6, so he's a little bit weaker. And wow, this is interesting. Okay. He got owned. He, he definitely got owned by this, removing the mono regeneration. The mono regen, but has been changed to 20 seconds Fury Swipes reset time. Sammy Boy says that this is a broken and underrated talent, so now it's at level 10. So we'll see if you're right or if you're wrong. I'm not sure because Sammy Boy has some crazy ideas. Level 10 talent is 175 health instead of 6 strength, and now the 15 talent is 2 mana regen. Oh, come on, really? Uh, the 20 talent is now 12 Fury Swipes damage instead of 13 so nerfed even more than it was before. Yeah, I mean the reset time is, is definitely good, but I just feel like this hero struggled so much with mono without the talent, or like until the talent, and then True. you get the talent, and then you feel pretty good. But True, now it's but like maybe like bottle. I, I don't know. We, we, sure, there's potential answers. Is all I'm saying. Viper Nether Toxin Maximum DPS has been increased by twenty at all levels. This hero is not seeing any play whatsoever. So literally is, zero. <laughs> yeah, that is interesting. Uh, the damage is being buffed a lot, so maybe it's going to get the Queen of Pain treatment pretty soon. Which I was going to say, I got, I got to try him as like a five. I feel like remember when he was being played as a five briefly, yeah, and it yeah. was like pretty damn good. good. He, he kind of fits into that archetype again, where it's like he dominates the lane, and he also can just like sit there and soak up, uh, soak up farm with Nether Toxin. True. Yeah, and uh, it's a really great one point wonder. I mean, eighty damage per second is is nothing to scoff at. Like, I, oh, I played this for, in the offlane uh, a while back, and I would push out the lane and just go, like, I'd push out the lane and go jungle or pull uh, it, with level one nether toxin. It was sufficient. It was enough. Right. Um, void Spirit. Move speed has been reduced. Bit of a nerf to probably, well, just Void Spirit in general. I mean, he's a hero that runs around killing people no matter what role you play him in. And the level 10 talent has been reduced again to only 15 damage instead of 20. And then Pretty the garbage. spell amplification has been changed to 14% instead of 12%. That's a garbage talent. There's no way you don't go for the cooldown the reduction step. on the yeah. astral step. That's nuts. Uh, Wind Ranger talents, level 10 talent has been increased to negative 2 second on the shackle shot cooldown instead of negative 1.5. So cool. I mean, More annoyance yeah, from an annoying hero. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just refer to Slax's video on this one. Uh, Winter Wyvern, level 10 talent has been in ba increased back to 1% cold embrace heal. Cool, seems very minimal. Uh, nobody goes for that talent anyway. Wraith King strength gain has been reduced, really reducing gains in this patch. Yep. Um, from 3.2 to 3.0 talents. All the level... gyms are closed, so yeah, you know, it's that, pretty hard. That's true, that's true. And the libraries. So, true. Uh, talents level 10 talent has been changed to negative 1.2 seconds, or sorry, plus 1.2 seconds Wraith Fire Blast slow duration to... Negative one second Wraith Fire Blast cooldown, which is definitely better. Yep. Um, but I don't know why you wouldn't go for the attack speed on this hero. He desperately needs it. 
and support Wraith King. Yeah, level twenty talent has been changed from one point eight X talent uh, skeletons spawned, which is one of the most memed talents in the game, to plus six skeleton spawned. Yeah, so this is actually, I mean, Equi- basically equivalent. Well, no, no it's true, actually way have... worse because you actually have to farm up to fourteen skeletons. Oh, now to get is, all of them. are you sure? Because yes, I, I tested it because you, you okay, used to just get double. Because I was, you, you, uh, I was gonna say if you, because if it was like you killed one and you could spawn seven off of just one, that would be cool. No, okay. no, you actually have to farm all the way up to fourteen to even use this talent. So it's like, yeah, that's much worse. Pretty terrible. That's much worse. <laughs> okay, Zeus, uh, Man of Regen has been nerfed at level ten from two point five to two, and that's it. That's it. Super minimal. Pretty big uh, patch. Huge patch. Lots of heroes. We're at forty five minutes on the clock. Another long one, but. Blame Valve. They did this 80% talent sweep, and then they're like, oh shit, guys, we gotta fix this. Some wrong numbers. Yes, yes, you did. Yes, you did. Um, uh, biggest losers, probably maybe like Ursa, Mars, Butt Spear. Sniper. Sniper. Yeah. Biggest winners, probably Juggernaut, maybe Enigma. Oracle, Oracle Jug. Oracle Jug, yep. Enigma. Yeah. Uh, Lashrac, of course. Yep. Yeah, these heroes are definitely nuts, so go ruin some pubs, people. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support your boys and get access to some really cool shit, patreon.com slash Alchemy. We love you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.